Vladimir Putin wanted me to ask a question, but Roberta uh, Alenius, the press secretary of Frederick Reinfeldt, uh, just shouted, no, 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 no. And she was uh, making with her hands all the way down and back while she was shouting, no, 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 and no. Because she had her press show prepared and did not want an unknown reporter like me to, uh, to, uh, to spoil her show. That was the problem. Uh, but uh, it was only two Russian journalists and two Swedish ones who had the right to ask questions. And those reporters were selected by Roberta Alenius. Sometimes it is uh, usual that uh, there is a little press room that uh, there are selected uh, journalists to do the questions, like in the White House in Washington. Okay, that's usual. Uh, the, the problem is uh, they, they have, are selected in advance, but the answers to their questions, they have to be shared with everybody. But in the case that we are talking about in the conference with Putin and Reinfeldt, uh, I had asked Putin if he, I could make him a question, and he said, yes, go ahead. I did it three times, and the incident happened at the third time. Vladimir Putin was so fed up that pointing to both Reinfeld and Alenius said what everybody heard in the YouTube entitled, Putin this are Reinfeld. There is a democracy, you see, democracy in action. They are always talking about democracy in Russia, and here is a democracy, a dictatorship, said Putin. But let me clarify something, Herman, very, very important. It was the third time that Vladimir Putin had requested me. He had requested me uh, to ask, and it was the third time Roberta Alenius had said with gestures and shouts, no, 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 no. Yes, it has happened before, not only with Alenius, but with other press secretaries and ministers as well. And not only to me, but some of my colleagues, very prominent colleagues, were used to that. As a Russian colleague said to me after the press conference between uh, given by Reinfeldt and Putin. She said to me, Don't, are you still surprised? That is a common thing to, to be here in this country. Okay, but the problem is that Alenius was not only denying me the right to ask a question requested by Vladimir Putin. She was also denying Putin his right to answer a question that he wanted to hear, obviously. In other words, with the complacency of Reinfeldt, Alenius was insulting Vladimir Putin and Jose Luis Belmar as well. As you can see, with this type of press secretaries, Frederick Reinfeldt does not need enemies at all. I asked, why is Russia not a part of the European Union? Will it ever be a part of the European Union? If no, why not? But if yes, why not already? And you know, when we heard it, he said, 
when he, Vladimir Putin, heard my question, he said directly to me, a very important and relevant issue. And, uh, uh, and re yes, and requested the word to Reinfeldt. In other words, Reinfeldt wanted to answer the question. He didn't know what to do. So uh, Putin grabbed Reinfeldt's arm and said, like, calm down, little boy. I am the one who is in charge of the show here. So that was, at the, uh, if you see the, 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 the video, it's exactly what Putin was doing, holding arm, uh, the arm of uh, Reinfeldt and telling, take it easy, take it easy. I'm in charge of this question. And after the question, he said to me, directly to me, you can see it in the, the whole video, that even is, the full conference video is on the, on the uh, government's uh, website, and you can see how he addresses to me and he says, thank you very much for the question.